Okay, dude, in, in this shirt, I look like a fucking asshole. I look like that kind of guy that you would see on the street that's, like, walking down the street all flexed in and, like, oh, it's so bad, dude. But, like, I, I, I want to dress up because I'm going to see my partner for the first time in, like, three or four weeks. So, or two weeks. Two, two weeks. But, yeah, I want to dress up a little bit. I'm recording this right before I take off. Welcome back to My Hero Academia, Boku no Hero Academia, Smash Tap. I for the past couple days have been grinding really hard. We ended up getting my Shigaraki to 99 luck, which was a huge grind, but thank thank God for the Discord where I was able to get people to help me. We actually got this team of like me, a guy with a picture of Suna from Katsuki Hitman Reborn, S uh, some guy named like Vicious or something, and um there was there was a fourth one that I, that I was really cool. Oh, he had 99 luck in his name. I don't remember who he was, but he was great. I really appreciate all your guys' help. If you're watching this, I love you, man. We'll, we'll grind it up next time the next unit comes out. However, now I have him. I also helped them out beyond getting the 99 luck, so I have a lot more copies of him. And I'm going to sell them here. As sad as this is, there's no dupe thing in this game. Except for the luck, so in the end, he just gets me about ten or eleven thousand gold. It's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do, man? I've also already done the the new quest line. I thought there was gonna be more than just one, but there's only one that got released. It's just basically fighting the bosses of um you get In Inginium, you get Deku, you get Ojiro and Sero, and then that's it. That's the, that's the end of that. But it was actually really cool, and it gave me enough orbs to do four more single scouts. On the Ida banner, because I learned, thanks to one of you commenters, that full cowl is in this banner. Meaning, I need, I need, I need to pull him right now. We're gonna do four scouts. We're gonna hope, we're gonna pray, we're gonna dream. Go. Bakugo joined. Oh, it's it's still four star. Oh, it's Mineta again. God damn it. Oh, I hate Mineta so much. He's actually the worst. We got 3% chance here. 3% chance of jack shit. Great. It's just great. Please. Please, God. Please, God, don't do this to me. Oh, no. I hate this so much. Last one. Blessed be our name. Amen. Let's go. Three. Two, one, go. Fuck. Well, that's really shitty. Whatever, that's fine. I'm also happy that I didn't have to spend my uh, my medals on this Deku. So I, most people that play this game that, that were grinding had to spend like 9,900 medals to be able to get this Deku to max level, like max luck. But because I have Shigaraki, I don't even need to buy him, and so I can prioritize buying these All Might Gadgets. These All Might Gadgets, they start off with 5% bonus attack. However, when you use uh, multiple, like I think my Grand Trino has three. Yeah, so he has three. Two of them have 5%, but I, I evolved one of them, and now that one's up to 7%. So his attack is up by like... Math, 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 17%. And it's it's great. If I max out all three of them uh, via evolving, I could actually potentially... Oh my god, I need so many though. I could actually potentially get to 30% um, bonus attack and get him closer to... I want to say 6,400. Which all of his stats being that high will be insane. And I cannot wait to be able to grind that out. However, that means I need to grind a lot of metals. And right now, the best thing for grinding metals... Not this. Uh, oh, I, I need to do that too. But yeah, the best thing for grinding medals right now is the Shigaraki event. Um, you know what? Let's let's do a. I don't want to do a rando run though. Rando runs are so shit. Okay, let, you know what? Let's let's just go back and we're gonna do the gummy. We're gonna do the gummy levels here. Um, just for the sake of doing it. I, I just want to show off Shigaraki and like what he does and like his his power. He's cool. He's actually really nice and. uh his damage is pretty big for what he does. Plus, he has his defense down. Defense down is great for trying to take care of bosses. Like they're gonna run over to the left here because they have the the case. But like, 
He's ready. He, he's just going. Does big attack and then Gran Torino. Dude, when I was on the Discord, um, continuously, people, when we were fighting, they would be like, Gran Torino MVP. And I was like, yeah, buddy. Best unit in the game. What do you want? Literally the best unit in the game. Full Cowl is a huge glass cannon, which makes him really shitty for like harder events like like Sh the Shigaraki event. He ended up dying most of the time when we were doing the runs. However, Gran Torino has the defense of a fucking tank. So when he when he's going through shit and actually fighting, he takes no damage and he's able to defeat them very, very easily. It actually makes me very happy that I pulled him. And also my first roll. I've seen people re-roll like 20 to 30 times to be able to get any other character or any 5 star and on the first roll we got Aizawa which is regarded as one of the best pulls and Gran Torino which is regarded as one of the best pulls both on the tutorial and on the later thing so that's absolutely great I am very happy with that and I, I, I can understand people getting salty god knows I would if I watched a video and the guy just pulled the best they're one of the best units and I really wanted them but you know what? Live and let live. Do I get? Oh no, I I, I get just uh, soda things for this. I thought I, I thought I may have gotten um, a stone for completing these gummy things, but I don't I don't think that's how it works. Here, who do we want as a partner? Who works as a partner? Um, you know what? Let's choose the sports festival Uraraka. Cause her art's great. It's really cute. She also just said Uravity, but she didn't have the name Uravity before the sports festival, so I, I, this is non-canon. Excuse me. I'm being bullshitted here. It's just a dumb complaint. That's such like a, a really stupid thing that it doesn't even matter. <sighs> I have heard rumors of the next gacha being Himiko Toga. And if that's the case, god damn my in. The only issue is now I'm blowing all my orbs on the Ida one. I probably should be saving up. I'm not getting anything anyway, so it's not like it matters. Like, eh. There's like, I think there's less than 10 five stars in the game right now, which is very sad. Yeah, because, um, Purple Deku, uh, All Might, Bakugo, Aizawa, uh, Ice Todoroki. Uh, Fire and Ice Todoroki, Gran Torino, I guess Stain, Shig Shigaraki, Other All Might, uh, Full Cowl, Ida, Endeavor, this is Uraraka, um, who else is there? I don't think there's any more that, it can, that can reach 6 star, which is very sad, there's, so there's 14, uh, five star to six stars in the game all right that's you know you could have a lot more literally you could you could have released a lot more there's a lot of characters that people love that would love to see five stars of but i guess they're trying to make it exclusive people just re-roll until they get it anyway so it doesn't really make it exclusive at all but hey it it, it works and we're gonna do the the last gummy thing and then we're gonna be done with this episode so yeah so I want to do a little bit of update, tell you guys about how I got Shigaraki up to max luck. Did it just... I just recorded this at 10.50 or so. It is now exactly 11 and the thing changed on me. Wow. Well, that's sad. I guess that's the end of that. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, I suppose. Um... I just wanted to say I really support, I really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving this series and other series, and I will see you guys next time when we potentially do the next EX event that comes out soon in like 